In this video, we will find out how we can make pure copper 2 sulfate salt by crystallization. A very popular salt that we like to make in the chemistry lab is copper 2 sulfate. Now there are a few steps that we take to obtain the salt. Firstly, we will need to make copper 2 sulfate. Now there are different ways to obtain copper 2 sulfate. In this experiment, we will add copper 2 oxide into sulfate acid. To ensure complete reaction, we will add copper 2 oxide until no more solid dissolves. Now the copper 2 oxide is said to be added in excess. Now this black mixture that you see here contains copper 2 sulfate solution and unreacted copper 2 oxide. To obtain copper 2 sulfate solution, we will filter the mixture. The unreacted copper 2 oxide will get stuck in the filter paper as residue. We don't want this, so we dispose it. Copper 2 sulfate solution will be collected as the filtrate. So here we have copper 2 sulfate salt dissolved in water. We will need to allow crystallization to occur to obtain the pure blue crystal. Now heat the filtrate until it is saturated. Saturated solution simply means that this solution cannot allow any more solid to dissolve in it. In other words, it is a solution in which no more solute can be dissolved in the solvent. Now to test whether a solution is saturated, we will dip a clean glass rod in the solution. As the solution cools, Saturated solution should leave small crystals on the rod. If not, we will need to continue heating until it is saturated. When the solution is saturated, we will leave it to cool. Crystallization will occur. You will start to see very pretty blue crystals forming on the evaporating dish. Now do not disturb this process by stirring or shaking the mixture. Lastly, we will filter to collect the crystals. Now to remove the remaining impurities, we will wash with a little amount of cold water. Now we use cold water because remember, copper 2 sulfate salt is soluble. We want to avoid dissolving the salt that we have made. We will dry the crystals between filter paper. Ta-da! There you go. So this is how we make pure copper 2 sulfate crystals. Now if you find this video useful, do remember to like the video and share the link with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more chemistry learning videos. If you'd like to have more chemistry learning resources, do check out my website. The link is in the description. Have fun learning chemistry and I will see you soon.